Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Mob Factory, a cross between a tower defense game and an automation game that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. Very curious to see how they combine those two genres together and if they pull it off. So in we shall go to see if they do just that. Uh, adventurers. Dragon. Less adventurers. Fallen Goblin. Splat Goblin. Building Goblin. Goblin built. Uh, goblin dreaming of building more. And that's it. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> Intro to the world. There we are. I am immersed. Place crossbows to stop the worms. Left click to place. Place them like that. Q and E to rotate. Okay. Cool. Unpause and wait for the worms to spawn. Space bar to pause. Wave in six seconds. Sorry. What, what else we got here? Carries items but not enemies. Crafts new items. Blocks enemy path. Got nothing in there. Click on an item to add it to your inventory. The imp and manual crafting will use your inventory items. Place an assembler. They only craft using items that they take in. I mean, where is there a place to put it? I'm going to say here. Click and select the bronze coin. You'll use the coin to buy islands. Okay. We need five corpses. Drag conveyors along the enemy path to your sem- This music is crazy, by the way. <laughs> drag, con drag conveyors along the enemy path to your assembler. So if it doesn't move enemies, can we do something like, um... That's... Pop down. Can we, um... Okay, so we can pick stuff up pretty easily. So is there anything stopping me from just doing that? I guess not. Is this working? Tutorial complete. Buy an island next. Move items across islands for the silver or coin. Okay. Sells weapons. This guy sells weapons. Hello, I'm a normal vendor of legal weapons. Please purchase my ethically acquired goods. Area slow. Cyclops. Area damage. Crystal. I don't know what this is. So more crossbows. We can just get some corpses, basically. So, and then we can buy islands with this. Okay. New enemy spider. Fast. Okay. Area damage and a crossbow. So we got two crossbows. So you're coming from here. They're fast. I'm going to assume two crossbows is not enough. Let's, let's do some science. Area damage. How big is the area? got 10 seconds to figure this out it's a one by one area okay to utilize that effectively we're gonna have to do some shenanigans like uh let's think what it how what's the distance on this popping it here should be that's maximum effectiveness of the crossbow So we can do something like this and lure them we're gonna have to go crazy with it though that's not bad back one meaning we can do one more effective dude that's dude that's effective as hell right there okay and then we can Probably grab some more corpses here. So we have nine. If we get one more, we can get another crossbow. So what else do we... So, okay, we have these over here. Oh, shoot. Not crazy effective, actually. Because we're going to have to use the... Oof. Oof. I'm going to assume that that's good enough to grab the spider web. We need to... Well, I guess we could put a crafting thing here. I 
Silver coins used to buy new islands. It needs to intake copper coins and spider webs. Oh, wait, so... Wait. So do we need to, like... This outputs copper coins? I guess we can do something like that. We'll need... And then this will output the... Oh, silver coins. Well, I guess we don't even have the ability to do that yet. Oh, perfect. We'll see. Waiting on what? Yeah, waiting on six spider... I mean, that's that should be something, right? This produces the copper coins. What is this hint about? Yeah, okay. What's that third thing? Oh, that's it running out. Why? I guess I could... Conveyor items here to store them. Sure. We'll have all the copper coins just get directly deposited into my belly. Oh, that's so cool. Automated. Okay, this is interesting. This is a neat concept. This is very neat. Okay, so... I have enough to get another... Area slow. I'll get another crossbow. Because what else do we use them for here? Well, I guess for walls. Okay, they're used for lots of stuff. What else do we have? Worm spawner takes... 20 spider webs. I'll tell you what. One. Let's buy another island. What do we got here? Sp spiders again. Area damage crossbow. I mean, I'm just going to do the same thing. Right? Or... or I can't quite. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Wait, can I? God dang it. No, stop it. Back one more. So can we do that? Mix by that. It could actually be pretty effective to utilize this, so we can save on some... Yeah, we get to save on some walls, actually. Pop this down. Is it here? God, I wish I wish it showed the radius in advance. Dude, that worked perfectly. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. So I guess the question is... Okay, so we're going to need conveyors. Which takes worm corpses. So I'm going to yoink some worm corpses. So what is this? Okay, so this is waiting on the coins. So we can actually grab some spider webs too. Prematurely. To maybe make a worm spawner. We can we can do that probably. Or we can just grab all these. We get 20, we make a worm spawner for ourselves. Yeah, this is waiting on the coins, which I mean understandable. Crafting these. Insufficient resource. So who's crafting this? Just, okay, just like me, more or less. Okay. I think we want to carry these out to... The castle, I guess? This one I think we take to the castle. Yeah, we need, we need more worms. 17. Let's grab all that for now. I'm going to build a worm spawner, which we put Huh. Oh, they're on the same timer? They're on the same time. Oh, can I Pull that back? I guess I probably could. Huh. 
Huh. Can I place different types of spawners on the same island? Gotcha. So they have to spawn at the same time, which means I can't, like, overflow. Gotcha. I, I was trying to, like, put them off... off skew there. That checks out. So area of effect is based on a material that I don't have yet. For now, we could just click. I mean, like, it's probably fine. But I just don't have quite enough stuff here. Got six coins. Yeah, I think we maybe uh, stop this for a little bit and we maybe make... It's conveyors? No, we don't really want conveyors too much. We just want to collect them, to be honest. I think that's what we want. So let's just start collecting them for a little bit. We'll let that, uh... We'll let that stop. You just collect for a little bit. Okay. Oop. Oh! Oh! I did- Okay. I did not know you could take back the bridge. Can't pay, take back those, though. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do these because we need to get more crossbows if we want to kill this. Cyclops? I'll get a cy- What does a cyclops do? A fast but short-ranged weapon. Okay. I'm out of walls as well if I want to use some of those. Which I think is gonna be something to do. If I'm- can I pop this down? I can't. It ruins it. So what does that do for us? I- okay. I figured as much, so... I should adjust this on the fly. I'm trying to think. God, I need, like, a lot of walls to get this to be exactly what I really want to do. Which is to have another little section over here that pulls them down. So we'd have to have enough to like run along this entire way. So let's just not do this for now. I've taken damage, but it's healing back up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We will uh, we'll science this for a little bit. We'll just run that all back. I think that's okay. There's nothing wrong with us just collecting stuff for the time being. Get more Cyclops. And craft ten of those. That seems decent. So as soon as these are dead... I'll just grab that stuff because that's just what it's doing anyways. We'll take that. We'll see what we can do. Do we, like, I think we might have to necessarily, yeah, we might just have to, like, run that all the way up, which is stinky. Then we run that over there. And then we go, yeah, okay. I think that's fine. And we, we could run it down and do, like, another whole thing here. I'm assuming I can't... I haven't tried to put this behind here, but I'm... Okay. I was assuming it didn't work. For good reason. It doesn't. I have so many of these. Damage 0.6, cooldown 0.9. Okay. So it's just a slightly faster... Uh, I kind of, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'd kind of prefer that we could do, like, a little bit of a tighter. Like, let's science this, science this out. Oh, that's absolutely perfect, actually. Because we could do that and then run um, another line down here. Pretty easily. 
We could even run this going like that. Blasting on him. Oh my god. Oh, those poor saps. And that runs perfectly there. And then they go back up. Not that we really need it, but we could even run this as well. All of that gives us extra production of the worms. What else do we have? We have a splitter. Pushes items evenly to either side. Pushes the selected type of item to the side. I mean, that's definitely something. We could split it up and make some walls, some bridges. For now, I guess we make coins. Because we should, like, buy another space. We need a lot of... We need a lot of bronze coins, actually. So let's, um... Grab this stuff. Place down another one of these bad boys, I think. It will cause an invalid path. But why? Okay, that should be fine. This should be fine, right? Oh. Okay. I'm trusting you, Towers. We got a forge here that will make copper coins for us. Right? Yeah. We grab that. Pop this up here where it'll meet the same fate. Does this... Wait, is this working? Huh? Is it it's getting absorbed in there, which which is not what I want. Alright, fine. I'll run it separate. We'll just grab all that garbage, pause, flip it the other way, I think. Go this way. Run it off to the side, where we will just have this forge producing some copper coins for us, directly. And we'll just have that be good enough for now. I don't think anything dies up here. This is overkill for this, isn't it? Even for double trouble? You know what this seems really good for? AoE. But I can't make the AoEs. Okay. Got some golden coin production. Still not a whole lot to do with this yet. Okay, so this is... Producing a whole lot of nothing right now, which makes sense. Could I handle another worm spawner? Over here? This is pretty... It's pretty strong. You know what? Let's chance it. Make me a worm spawner. And then stop. I don't really need to make those right now. I made two worms. I made so many worms. I made so many worm spawners so fast. I don't need that many, but thank you. Uh-oh. Okay. We'll see. This this might have been overkill. If I get an AoE right here, it'd be absolutely incredible. This feels like it might be too much. It's in fact not too much. We can handle this. The question being, is it too much for one factory? And the answer seems like, uh, yeah. So this is where we would perhaps get a splitter. Produce me some splitters. Wait, one one made it. So there's a world in which one can make it. Just clean that up. So we'll grab a splitter. Splitter. 
that will theoretically be able to do this. Can, can we make another one of these ourselves? We can indeed. Split like that. That probably works. Do they always make it through? They always make it through. In which case we run that and they never make it through. Okay, so these are producing an endless amount of those, which is not necessarily what I wanted to do. I want to go for gold or bronze coins. I'm happy to have them. I'm going to use them. Like, don't get me wrong. Don't really know what I'm doing with these even right now. A little overkill. That works fine. So that's an endless stream of those. This is making me splitters, of which I probably have enough of already. Okay, so these are both making me coins. Good. Got seven of these, which is... Probably too much. Hmm. I feel like I actually have an easier way to connect uh, these right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, that'll be interesting. So for now, you make me more of these because I'm going to need more of them. Splits them evenly, half and half. So this is making some coins, some conveyors. Because if I could get some conveyors and link these up, this being the gold coin producer, or the uh, the bronze coin producer, I think this is actually like a better easy link up for producing these silver coins. I, yeah, I think it makes like a lot more sense. Because we can even just go like this. Let's build one of those in the meantime. Theoretically, that's fine. We got a forge, which this is going to be making silver coins. And this runs up there. This is going to be making the bronze coins. This, I mean, this could be whatever. I don't know. Let's get some freaking walls. How about that? Or that could be... This will, for now, this will be making the bronze coins that I, ex that I accept myself. Instead of being used as a component. Okay, we got a lot of Cyclops. Okay, we have enough to buy that extra. Is this working correctly? It should be. It is indeed. Spider Spawner needs eyes of some sort. I'm afraid to buy another island. Okay, so that has a... Is it a shield? What is it? It looks like an eyeball to me, if anything. It's an eyeball or a shield. That's slimes. So it's a skeleton. Okay, so it's skeletons. These are skeleton spawners. This is what? What is this? Is this the slime spawner or something? I wish I could tell, because I don't know if I'm ready for a skeletons quite yet, you know? Moves items underground with a range of three tiles. Ooh, generates mana when stepped on, connected to a grid. Mimic spawner. Big spawner. Oh my lord. This is interesting. Alright. Well, this is producing my silvers. Oh, good. Okay. So yeah, the question is really like, what do I want to buy? And I, I'm leaning towards this, but... New enemy skeleton can only be hurt by projectiles from the back immune to area damage. Merchant sells upgrades. Conveyor upgrade speed... Assembler intake speed up. This requires white potions. Parched. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what this is all about. I will say... We need walls. Stat.
Yeah. Because I'm going to need to do some weird jujitsu. I don't think this is going to be enough unless they're like really weak. Which I, I doubt they're weak enough to die to just these. Okay, we stopped getting our intake of purely uh, spider webs. Start grabbing from these because we don't need them. Unsurprisingly, this is not enough. How bad is it? How bad is it? Okay, so that's blocked off entirely. You make them run through there. Just make them run up as much as possible here. So we were able to kill one. That helps. How bad is this? It's pretty bad. Yeah, we need to solve this quick. Unsurprisingly. Immune to AoE. We just need to grab some worm corpses. Oh, shoot. We need 17 for another one now. That's pretty bad. Okay. Okay. I could, like, temporarily take one of these. It's an interesting idea. I think that's a... That's not a bad idea. Okay. Need some more worm corpses. ASA pronto. Oh, let's go. Okay, that's actually good enough. This is good enough. Good to know. That being said, I still want to get this fixed up. Salt. Okay, so we have now we have the skeletons. This is apparently good enough. Is it 100% clean good enough? It is. Okay, cool. Smart assembler crafts new items, stops intaking when full. Makes potions with the strongest item available. Okay, so that's going to be for the upgrades. That's what you need for the upgrades. Crafts new items. So it's the assembler stops when intaking when full. Oh, when it's full, does it like just delete the objects? Is that what's happening? That might be what's happening. What else are the eyeballs for? Eyeball or I, I, shields. You know what I mean? Crystal. Big crystal? Oh, there's more tower. Oh, there's more towers over here. Uh, another area damage one. I feel like the area damage is super, super useful. It's probably, like, really useful on the worms. Like, if I, um... Bought this and replaced this here, I could probably yoink... I mean, I shouldn't do it right now. But I could probably yoink a couple things from here. Alternatively, I could... Put down yet another spawner, maybe. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now that's a mob factory. I knew that I was going to mess that up. Oops. Here's the question. Can I, can I have another spawner because of that clean, clean AoE? The fact that we can just buy more AoEs now is so nice. This feels wrong that that's good enough, you know? I'm just going to be collecting these for now. Yeah, I feel like I could have about a thousand of these. But the thing is, it's like, it's already entering the realm where it's probably not a very worthwhile ingredient. We can start getting more spider. Why would we need more spider? What do we really, what do we want? 
more islands. Oh, a gold coin. Perhaps a gold coin. I want to know what this is. It's an island that I can do whatever I want with. That's good to know. That's actually really helpful. Okay, so this is producing the gold coins. This is producing the silver coins. We have how many of those? Three. Is this... Something wrong with this? Let's make another factory. We need uh, some of them. Okay. Okay. Do we just double up on uh, on intake of these? Because it looks like we need about... Shoot. It's fine. We, we do want that stuff. Seems like we're getting spider webs much faster than we're getting those coins. Probably have plenty of walls as well, by the way. Let's get some more bronze coins. I think we still need those. Yeah, we need a lot of them, in fact. Okay. So these are both producing bronze coins... This is getting all of the overflow for when it inevitably gets too much. All right. That actually, that works in a way that I was not necessarily planning. Because, yeah, there's just, too, there's just too much that it starts to go over here. And is this intaking roughly at the same rate webs to coins now? Eh, roughly. Yeah, roughly. It's about, it's about right. Okay. Got a good good intake. 92 of these per minute. 36 used per minute. Huh? Four coins used per minute. Huh? I could get another one of these. We could also just like capture some corpses. But it's just the fact that that's it. This is clearly at like such an optimal ratio right now. These are all dying pretty cleanly. I could probably make another uh, one of these. I could probably make yet another worm spawner. That's how set we are. And then we could have one of these just be giving us worms in a good way. Okay. Like it. Relatively efficient there. This is, I mean, I'm not doing anything necessarily with these yet. But I could. I could if I wanted to. 13 on the webs. It's fine. What is this even making? This is making nothing. This is making nothing. This could be making me a spider spawner. This could be making me... Oh, weird. You need... You need sorters? To make gold coins? I guess I'll make sorters then. Man, th that's just been sitting there. I know, I've been screaming! Oh no, look it, it's just gonna be made now instead. It's fine. We didn't actually lose any efficiency. Uh, this is actually a really good meat point for a gold coin. Factory. Oh, that's getting a little tedious, I can't deny. So this goes up here. Where are the skeletons dying? Where does the first skeleton die? It's like right here. Okay, so this is getting... Why is that making that again? This should be making sorters. Okay. 
Craft another one of those bad boys. So in, this will intake of the... Oh, shoot. Wait, that messes everything up. If I do it exactly like that. I need to wait a second. That should be fine. They both go to the same, which will make the gold coins, which we will have generally leading back. You make me some some paths. How about that? We don't need to do this. This is just quality of life. Okay, but we can't even do that because these need to go here. That all needs to lean back. This one might be killed too far up. Oops. Tis. It's probably good enough. If he gets killed there, then technically we don't need any of this. Until we add on in some way. God, this is really interesting. Okay. Because nothing ever changes with it. Why is this getting caught here? Is there an invisible... Oh, okay. It was pointed downwards there. Alright. It's going to overflow it for right now, but that's okay. We need more spiders. Is what we need. We need more spiders. So, a good way we can do that is... Uh, popping that. Do we have a spider spawner? Got a spider spawner? Yeah, the inventory. It's a little bit tricky. 70 walls. We got more than enough walls. What are you making right now? You're making rivers. We're good on that. I think let's get back to the coins. Because we need 55 of them. We're going to maybe even have like, want to have two things running at, at the same time. We definitely want to clump everything up. That's annoying. Okay. That might be good enough. Do we have another Cyclops anywhere? No, sir. But yeah, doubling up on those spiders should help us out. Because, yeah, this is waiting desperately. All right. Is this good enough? That is more than good enough. This needs to be producing so much faster. It's waiting on intaking. Alright. So yeah, this is this is the bottleneck over here on my production of gold coins. For what it's worth, we don't need another gold coin right now to like make progress we're bottlenecked on copper coins of which we could like at any point just say you quit that and you just pop them out here where, where do they get uh popped out the other, just the opposite side okay that's fine We'll just double up on copper coins for now. Making copper. You're making copper. You're waiting on this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely bottlenecked there. I mean, but having more spider webs isn't necessarily going to be that helpful unless we... Uh, unless we do run a splitter and run another one of these, which we could do. But do we have the ability to make any of these? We'd have to stop one of those, which we could do. But I think it's fine for now. I don't know. This is just really, really neat. And like seeing this whole system and this whole system, I'm very, very curious. Bloop. All right. 
That's running. So yeah, 38. We would need... It's 55. We could get, obviously, another skeleton thing. and I don't even think it'd be bad to, like, get a skeleton path and then uh, run that one, like, those shields straight to... Straight to the tower. The fact that it says the goal up there is nice. Like, I mean, I'm working on it. Well, I've, I've reached that goal. I have more gold coins than I truly need. The silver creation rate is... Oh, it's, it's actually bottlenecked by the spiders as well. So much is bottlenecked by the spiders. And we could get more spiders if we got more shields. Which basically means the correct thing to do at this time would probably be for a little bit running this just temporarily one shield will still go in there out of every batch but the rest of them will go over here I mean especially since this is bottlenecked on shields for like a long time anyways this isn't a 1 in 4 ratio is going to here so it's like it's still getting some things and then otherwise we're getting the shields straight to us which we would use for the AoE which is a great way to increase the uh, our spider capacity our spider per spider per capacity there's even a chance I could run another spider but again it's it's bottlenecked on the shields I think that since I'm seeing a lot of uh, yeah a lot of bottlenecks on a couple things right now, it's probably a, a pretty clean time to stop it and say that that is uh, pretty darn neat. I think we will buy this island just to see what it shows you. Eats uh, slime eats items. So obviously, like doing that is like a lethal thing. I just wanted to sh see what uh, showed up here. Slimes eat items. That's okay. That's really interesting. Throws an extra wrench into the system there. Uh, but yeah, this is 100 worms, 50, 30. The truth is that if we stopped producing and we just sent that straight into our factory, we or like picked it all up, this actually wouldn't even be that hard either. All in all, though, I think that is that, and that's going to do it here for today for Mob Factory. I think it's a neat little game here. I... Can't necessarily say how super like long-term or replayable it is or anything like that. I have heard some people have had some bugs with crashing and things not saving. Uh, I will say I also just saw this say it saved right there. So maybe that got fixed. I don't know. That might be fixed already. Not really sure. Uh, but it's a, it's a novel little concept. I think it's a fun idea. It's like, what if you gamified strictly like mob farming in minecraft sort of is what this feels like in a really interesting way uh i like it i like it alas alas though that is that that's going to do it here for today my name is retromation cover indie games every single day typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes or roguelites but i'm a huge fan of tower defense games as well and i got a little bit of a little bit of an itch for automation games every once in a while as well so seeing these two genres combined together absolutely piqued my interest and i'd say for good reason because i think it was a neat little time here alas alas that is that that's going to do it here for today thank you for watching check the channel it needs more every single day and i will see you next time bye